it's been a bit to kickstart. It's kind of hard to kickstart a league like Sociable when something like what's been going on is going on. But me and Mike have been trying to experiment with online stuff to play as. Um, just at least trying to find at least one or two games to play online for a few matches just to just to kind of get that competitive like urge settled. Um, me and Corey do plan on doing one. We're actually going to add something interesting. We're actually going to have stipulations. And for the next one, we, we want to do um, where the loser gets... Because I have a Nerf gun, and the loser gets freaking nerfed. <laughs> yeah, and stuff like that, just to kind of give the matches a bit more of a, of a competitiveness. It'd still be fun. It's not like freaking hardcore, but it's... But just to kind of give it a little bit more, more push. Um, I don't know how many of these we're gonna do before January. I do know I want to do enough for where us three will be eligible. I don't. The only way someone else could be eligible, be managed to sneak in the league, if I do something online with them. But in all honesty, at this point, they wouldn't be able to compete in the playoffs mainly because of distance and everything. So. So it would just be something just to get their name in the name in the standings. It wouldn't be anything other than that, really. But yeah, but I but yeah, we're open to anyone wanting to join in the in the video gaming league for sure. Um, It'd be cool to have some new people also. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just it's just tough right now, mainly because of all the social dis of of the the pandemic and all that. Um. But yeah, uh, midway football game reviews. Um, I still gotta do the Blitz ser the bl the l Blitz the League games and all their the other console versions. I will say this very quickly. Um, I did get an N64 recently, and me and Corey also got a Switch. So you'll be seeing some of those in the future as well. Especially since there were so many midway games on that, you'll definitely see some of that in the future as well. Um, let's see here. Midway basketball game reviews. Um, not much as much new for that. Um, I other versions. It's tough to say. Um, um, probably like there's still um versions of Jam, um, Hang Time, some version, another version of Showtime, um, NBA Hoops, and then the Baller series. But I'm not. I'm not gonna be that in. Not, I'm not. You're not gonna see as much of that packed on right away, at least. Um, oh, hold on a sec. I gotta plug this in. Can I get this some new stuff in the future? You keep saying me and Corey or me and Mike. You gotta say Corey and I. Yeah, <laughs> it's. I'm not trying to be a dickhead, but it just sounds better. <laughs> I'm not dig riding the muffin. <laughs> themselves plenty of time to do stuff. And also... Like, who knows? 
Yeah. You never know what they're actually gonna do. Yeah. So the next thing is MLB 2K reviews. Um, I already did the Dreamcast versions. Um, I already covered 2K5 on the channel. MLB 2K5. Um, that one is definitely one worth exploring for sure. Um, I'm still gathering the games for it. I haven't put a lot of priority in that mainly because I don't think there's a lot of people interested in seeing review on that at this point because unlike other sports franchises, people still love the show. <laughs> so I don't know how many people are claiming for 2K Baseball to come back quite yet, but but yeah. Um, NCAA football reviews. I've done all the PS1 games. I am working on the PS2 games. Uh, the, the rest of them. I'm PS2 and PS3. The ones I have left are 11 for PS2 and 12 for PS3. 11's tough because it's expensive because it's the last one for PS2. So that one's kind of tough. 12 will be easy to get. But but just with those two I would have all of them for that. So you'll probably, you could see that relatively soon um, at some point. March Madness reviews. I've done the PS1 ones and that one as well. Um, I don't have as many for that one quite yet. I don't have any for PS3. Oh, the P getting them for the PS3 is pricey because the last one, 10. I was at GameStop. They actually had it, but they had it for 40 fucking dollars. I'm just like, God damn, you're really fucking stretching me out, are you? <laughs> God damn. Oh, man, yeah, it's just... It'll be a bit for those, for sure, but I, I'll keep an eye out for the PS2 versions and at least try to do those. Um, the Midway Hockey Game Reviews. Um, uh, there's still Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey to cover. Um, the other hits games on the other consoles, between all those, um, you'll see them kind of sporadically. Um, probably the Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey one you'll probably see more, and then Open Ice probably see, but the ones for hits, maybe Xbox you'll see, but I don't know, about, but it'll be a while before that. Let's see. Um, the MLB 2K5 franchise mode review, um, not much more there. I don't really plan on going back to it right away, just because I want to explore other baseball games like MVP or whatever, so it's possible, but it will require some um, I would would like to see like if if there's an audience for it, I'll certainly do it. Um, so the Fens album reviews. Um, I wanted to do some this summer, but I just got occupied with the vlog series. the The difference between last year is that last year it was only a 20 episode season of a show, and this year it's like 70 some. It's a huge difference, so I've been kind of more occupied with that. I do plan on doing at least one episode before the year ends, at least one. Um, I do want to. I do know there's kind of an audience for it. The only reason why I haven't really done them is mainly because the note taking and the prep time for them are is a little bit. It takes a little bit because I have to listen to the album, make notes. It's it's a bit. It takes a bit more time to do them, but. I do want to. I do want to do. I do want to do them. So, so you'll definitely try to see at least one, at least, if not more, before the end of the year. Um. Yeah. yeah what were you gonna say, Mike? Uh, can I call you back? I'm about to drop a V2. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Call me. I'll call you in a few minutes. Okay. I'll keep doing with other stuff. Um, so, the 2K4 franchise mode review, um, it did well, um, if I do continue it, I'll increase the difficulty, I don't know what, oh, if there's an audience for it, I'll keep doing it, but right now I'm kind of, I kind of, I know there's a lot of love for 2K, old school 2K and EA, but I really do want to try to do other ones other than those two to try out in the future. Um, let's see, what else? Midway Baseball Game Reviews. Um, did all the Slugfest games, uh, Xbox, um, in Xbox and the GameCube versions, I might do in the future. It's kind of hard to say, um, because there's not much to say for baseball. I mean, I will do at least the Xbox versions for sure. 
I, I will do them at some point, but both of the other two versions, but it's going to be a bit. It's just, there's just not a ton there right now. And what I have right now works fine, so yeah. MVP Baseball. Um, I know they have Xbox and GameCube. Um, I do plan on doing those in the future at some point. I am curious on those. Um, it's going to take a bit, though. I do plan on reviewing the Triple Play series at some point, but it will be its own series. I do plan on reviewing that in the future, though. Game the reviews, that's been um, finished. Uh, there's nothing else to say about it. Um, uh, the, me and Mike play PS2 Madden games, um, or PS3 and PS1. Um, there's not much to say about those. Um, like we said earlier, the Genesis games, probably. But in all honesty, it's going to be a while. We might do some off reviews, like in Video Gaming League, or if anyone might play sports games, when we do something specific there. But in all honesty, I wouldn't expect anything anytime soon. Um, Madden 04 Franchise Mode Review for the Jaguars. I've actually gotten quite a few requests. That's the only one I've seen so far people want to see a Season 2 of. So I will do one in the future pretty soon. In fact, I might do it as my next one that I might do after after NFL 2K2, um, but I, after the hits, I'll probably, I might do that, and that one will be, I'll try to do that one, it'll be some slight adjustment to the rules and stuff, but, but yeah, I do plan on doing, doing that in the future, um, NBA 09, uh, that's just a one season thing, I don't, NBA, the NBA series, that definitely deserves a checkout. Um, but it's going to take a bit, because the, the, the gems of the series are on the PSP, and I do want to get into reviewing handheld games, but that's going to take a finesse. Um, oh, here's my game. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Okay, so sorry to cut you off there. That's fine. Got through a few more. Dude, I got it. I clutched it. I thought I was going to screw up. Yeah. But yeah. I, was, I thought I was going to screw up so bad, so I just had to do it. <laughs> no worries. Sorry, uh, man. No worries. Uh, so, last one's left. A um, couple of the big ones here. Um, the the phone reviews I started like a couple years ago. Um, the TV show, movie, fine show, whatever long name it is. I could do more, but I'm kind of... I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of have to brainstorm that a little bit. Um, the Hater. That's that's the show I'm going to be rebranding as kind of a replacement for Movie Man. Um, and the difference between those two is that the Hater will be more about general stuff. Like for example, the first episode I do plan on covering in that is Madden Six on the 360, and that one will be edited. It will be kind of a a funny kind of thing, kind of in the vein of video game nerd, nostalgia critic kind of thing, but a little bit with originality, of course. I'm not going to be a rip-off. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that'll be a bit, though. I, I do plan on getting some help with Corey with that one, though. It's not going to be a fully detailed review. It's kind of be more of a riff with some factoids or whatever. But yeah, it, it's... But I... But I will review a little bit of everything with that series. Not just bad video games, bad movies, music, or whatever. Just because... And some of them might be, like, video-driven. Some of them might be more talk-driven. Just a more flexible show so I can do more episodes, but with the same tone and pace. And not have to take forever to do one episode. But yeah, and then... That's about it. Class assignments, that's just kind of college stuff. But yeah, that's all I, That's all that is. It's a long time coming, reviewing all that. So future projects, um, other than I just said, um, not much. Um, more N64 stuff, some Switch stuff. I want to try to get more of an online community for us to grow through the video gaming league. I may maybe have it a different branch. I do want to maybe even try doing some tournaments online with some of the Discord community. Mostly uh, the retro, retro sports gamer Discord community I've been chatting with quite a bit, and that's kind of where I met a lot of the guys. I did. We, we have some cool guys who, who are nice enough to join our Discord channel, which is cool. So, 
So we're we're making some progress there, but but yeah, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Um, and yeah, uh, in terms of future ambitions, council-wise, I'm pretty much good. Like I think I have all I'm gonna get with councils for a while. Um, I know Mike. So uh, I know Mike has been gathering some games and other goodies for whenever he comes over. So, do you got any updates on that? Because I know you said you got, like, some Madden games for the Wii and all that. you got any updates there? Well, it's mainly the Assassin's Creed games. I got a couple new ones, and the ones that are kind of not as well known, but they still be some really fun games, and I plan on doing some of those pretty soon. And mainly doing maybe a complete playthrough of the story, but more for the exploring. Because I, I like exploring in the game. I like just hanging out. I like just seeing what happens and, you know, having fun with it. Assassin's Creed isn't really one of those, you know, hardcore kind of multiplayer online games. It's more of just a, a fun story and fun to play. And, yeah. You know, and it's more casual. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I... Next time you're over, though, you should try bringing your Xbox, and maybe we can check out some of your Xbox stuff or something. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I totally do that. That reminds me, um, didn't you say you kept your old one when you got your new one? Yeah, I, I still do have it. Ooh. It's kind of like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I, I will say this, um... Either next time you come over, even if you didn't don't feel like waiting, I mean, I could just take the old one off your hands and try fixing that. I know you said there were some issues with that one. Yeah, it, it's mainly, and the reason I got a new Xbox was for the, the memory, the RAM. Yeah. Enough RAM, and it would slow my game down and a bunch of other stuff. Now, it depends on what game you play, so you might not have the problem, but... Like, that's the only reason why I got rid of it. Other than that, I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything significant wrong with it, other than just slow RAM. Well, it kind of yeah. slows times. Yeah, I, I, if, if you don't mind, I would gladly take that off your hands, because the cool part about it, if I have it, is that we could play some games online without having to do, like, all the extra stuff. Yeah, so. that's a good idea, honestly. So I'll, I'll let you know what happens in the future. Yeah, and, and you know that's what? That's a good idea. And you know what? If if we don't know when we're gonna be seeing each other again, you can just mail it, you know, just to kind of, just so that that way, if we don't know when we're gonna be seeing each other again, that way we can do some online stuff and not have to wait, you know. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So yeah, just but yeah, so that's possibility for future too. But yeah, I think that's about it. I can't think of anything new to say. What we we're planning on doing, we're already doing a lot as is. Um, I think the only thing is just, uh, just to keep it out for future little things. But yeah, yeah. um, that's all, I, you got any final thoughts, Mike, on anything here? Uh, final thoughts? I'm really excited for some of this new stuff. Really excited. Yeah, I, I, I... Yeah, I can't I can't wait for some of the stuff. It's gonna be pretty fun. But yeah, guys, um thanks for watching. Um in case you wanted to chat with me, Mike, or anyone else at the Campy Company, you don't want to use the YouTube comment section, we do have a Discord channel. <laughs> you can find the link to that channel in the about page slash about section of our YouTube channel. And yeah, uh thanks for watching guys. Uh please subscribe and like the videos and have a good day. It's a lit, bro. <laughs> Hello guys, um it's been a bit. We're doing do a channel update, catch up on everything. Uh, Mike is here through the phone. Hey, what's up, guys? So, we're just going to go over everything, like we've been doing the last few updates, because they've been so spaced out. Um, we're going to start with Mike's shows, and we're going to start with uh, Call of Duty. So, what's your updates on Call of Duty, Mike? Well, basically... I'm trying to stream every day as much as possible. I missed like a few days, but nothing big. I've been, you know, for the most part, doing everyday streams and just just having more fun, you know, less uh, trying to get super awesome gameplays, more just having fun playing. And I have been saving all the, the clips 
and all the cool stuff. And pretty soon, I'm going to come out with a sniper montage and also a funny moments montage video or so to speak. Something like that. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I might release some other gameplays that are really good, but who knows? I, I haven't decided yet. I, it all depends on how the, the other videos go. Yeah. Yeah, so, um... I know you talked mentioned a little bit about your Fallout series, so what, do you have any plans in that area? I'm not sure. I mean, honestly... Uh... It depends, really. I mean, I don't think I'll be making any more videos for that anytime soon. But the thing is, that gives us opportunity to do other stuff and, you know, experiment with new things. We don't have to do more of the same Fallout videos. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. What do you think? I mean... Well, in all honesty, technically the last, like, true Fallout game, in my opinion, was Fallout 4. Because Fallout, like, 76 is, was just, like... Even, like, with everything fixed, it's still, like, a multiplayer open-world thing. Very unlike previous Fallout games. So, you could argue that the, the current Fallout... Like, Fallout 4, like... Like, I could, like, Fallout 4, I think, would be interesting to explore. I played it on the PS4, I did a video on it, and I, I, th I, I enjoyed what I was playing up to that point. So, and, and I think, I think it's a, it will be good to explore, like, when Fallout was good. <laughs> I know a lot of people consider Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas pinnacle, but, but I played New Vegas, in Fallout 4, in all honesty, I felt 4 felt a little bit more smooth. I felt like, I felt like you had to do a lot in New Vegas before you got going. 4, it just, I felt like, it just, it felt more streamlined. It didn't feel as, like, and it had a grandness to it. Like, um, it felt tall. It felt, like, big to me. But, yeah. But, yeah, that... That could be interesting as well, or other kind of Fallout games, or even like old school PC stuff you can download like ROMs of, for for, or something like that. Because the first two Fallout games, like on PC, are considered like awesome. But yeah, that but yeah, that's kind of it. I don't know hear a lot of people talk about Fallout really anymore, so I don't know how many I don't know how many people will be interested in seeing that, but it's definitely an idea to think about. Yeah, we, we may or may not, but, I mean, yeah. like, there's also a lot of other options, so just keep it in mind, we could do a lot of other videos. Yeah. And then, um, uh, so what about your Mike's, Mike's Guide to Greatness show? You got any thoughts on that? Any ideas there? Uh, I was thinking of either doing some new, uh, PC games, or maybe getting, like, a couple new games for Xbox, one of those two. I'm not really a big PlayStation gamer. I mean, I like PlayStation, but I just don't like the controllers as much as Xbox, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that, that makes that makes complete sense. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, because comparing, like, PS, like, when I compared a PS3 and 360 controller a lot with me and Corey, you know, they, they were, in all honesty, in my opinion, the 360 controller's better. The PS3 controller only benefits from what it inherited. Anything new added to it doesn't work. It feels flimsy as fuck. I feel like it could split in a half with my fingernails. The 360's like, it has good weight. It has good width. Everything is... Any mistakes they made on the original Xbox controller, they corrected. For sure. So, yeah. I... So, I imagine PS4 kind of corrects all the PS3 mistakes. It feels, it has the way, it, it feels neatly organized. I can't, I only, I held an Xbox One controller once. And I mean, it, it's pretty much the same kind of controller as the 360 Yeah, controller. if any, if anything, the handlebars feel longer. It feels like a more longer controller than the 360. 360 feels more like a square. Xbox One feels more like a rectangle. That okay. makes any sense. Um, yeah, it, it makes sense. I just, I'm used to it now. I don't even notice like when I'm playing with it, and 
it just feels pretty normal. I'm I still used to playing with a controller. To be honest, I mean, I, I'm trying to get into more PC games in the future. Yeah, to be Obviously, honest. Obviously, I think I want a controller player first. To be honest, I never really had issues switching from controller to controller. I always kind of, I always kind of managed to kind of get an idea because a lot of games use similar control systems. You don't see a lot of, I haven't encountered a lot of games that like, like shooting is triangle or something like that. You know, something where it's like, well, this, this is completely unintuitive. But then again, they probably all that's with the shitty games, and I never really play shitty games, so <laughs> that's probably it too. Yeah. Also, I think there's. I think it's a harder transition from PC to console, or console to PC, rather than switching consoles. When I, I first yeah. Harder. When I first started like really gaming, that was on the PC. Like, that's where I got most of my gaming experience when I was younger. Console stuff didn't really come till I was, like, more middle school-ish, kind of. I got a taste with the GameCube and Spider-Man 2 when I was young, but I didn't go super far into that. All, and then, I literally, every other gaming experience I experienced other than console, really, until, like, I got a PS2 from my neighbor. And that's kind of where, and even then, I kind of didn't do much with it. I just did sports games and Guitar Hero. <laughs> that was really it. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, it, but yeah, it's definitely, but yeah, but yeah, the the controller part. I definitely agree that. I will say this. I'm curious how this gen will compare. I don't think will be a lot of difference between this gen. However, given did you he oh on a quick side note, we have a lot to talk about, so I'll keep this quick. Did you did you hear about like freaking Halo is not going to be a launch game for the Series X? That's crazy to me because yeah, it's being Halo is one of those really cool games. Halo, it's being delayed till about everyone loved it. It's being like yeah. Taking a lot of this is just me, but I feel like Halo, they took a lot of creative liberties with, like, the new games, with the style and stuff like that, and it just kind of, it made for, like, a different experience. Not necessarily worse, but different. Yeah, they're delaying it till 2021. Like, a, a council that has been criticized in these years for having a lack of games, their one claim to fame isn't going to be a launch title on the make it or break it console. I mean, I know they made signing exclusive signings on like Konami for exclusives, but goddamn, <laughs> they are yeah, really they, pushing it. Not have Halo at launch for real. Like people are probably super stoked to get the game and get a big letdown. Well, I, I get excited for sure. It's a big deal. Yeah. And, Think about it. Like I played, like I think all of the Halo games. And what's funny to me is, like I played all the games, and I never done a Halo video on the channel. Like I, I think you've done a few of those videos, right? Yeah, you have done one, I think, in Mike's Guide. You did one through Mike's Guide. Oh yeah, I did in Mike's Guide. Yeah, I I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, it's so busy sometimes. I forget. Yeah, that would definitely be something worthy exploring. The only thing about Halo, Halo is one of my Halo is one of my I new favorite things I've discovered in the recent months. I really love Halo. The only thing with Halo that kind of bothers me a little bit is that they don't have bots for uh, the extra modes. So if you want to play like the multiplayer stuff, you have to have other people or online. If you want, if you're doing solo stuff, you can only do campaign. I understand in ODST and Reach, there's a firefight mode that's kind of like a bot shooter kind of thing, maybe. I really enjoyed the the firefight mode. But when they, I was playing ODST, it was one of my favorite modes. I would yeah. play that for a long time. Do like split screen if I had a friend or was playing with my brother or something. Yeah, but they only had it in those two games. They didn't keep it, so. And I do know they do have bots in, like, uh, the Halo, like, uh, it's like a territory war Halo thing, where you have, like, bases, and you can fight against, like, other bases kind of thing. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, there's, there's probably some cool new things in the game. 
And I'm hoping, yeah, it does suck. They don't have it at launch or whatever. But, you know, hopefully they can make up for it by just, you know, having some cool features and stuff like that. Well, that's the thing. What are they launching with, though? That's the thing. It's like, I know Corey is excited about, like, Hellblade 2, but, but the thing is that they don't have anything. <laughs> I mean... I mean, what, what was on Xbox One that was an exclusive? Besides, like, hey, I know a few. There was Halo, um, uh, the Gear games, uh, so, Killer, favorite, Killer. What's your favorite Halo game in the series, if you had to pick a favorite? I've only played the first three so far. Out of the three, the one I played the most of is the first one. I've actually tried, uh, got into the campaign of the first one for a little bit. By the time I played two, I was kind of... I, I was very invested in the first one's campaign, so I didn't really got super into the sec. I didn't do the second one's campaign quite yet. Third one on the 360, I'm tempted, but with so many games, I didn't really felt like the urge at the time. So, so far, well, I will say it's probably one. That's only because I've played it most by default. Um, two and three. If I play more of one of those two, it might be two or three. I don't know. I, I, I there's so many Halo games on the 360. I haven't even touched yet. There's still like the spin-off games like ODST, Reach, the Territory games, and four. And of yeah, course, I didn't know there were this many Halo games. To be honest, like yeah, having having you like do all this stuff, like figuring these things out, like because I would never have played all these different Halo games. I played a couple. I, like yeah. I said, I played ODST, I got a ton of time in Firefight, because that was my favorite thing, and then I just kind of grew tired of the, of, I, I feel like everyone gets tired of games sometimes, but I feel like, especially with the most recent Halo games, they just got boring kind of quickly. Well, the problem with Halo 5, from what I heard, is that they, they, they advertised the, the game having a really unique story of Master Chief being, like, portrayed like, and being set up for, like, being framed as a traitor and stuff, but in all reality, that was actually a really small part of the story. <laughs> it wasn't the big thing at all, so a lot of people were kind of disappointed in that, and plus, they got to a point where they kind of perfected the formula after, like, four. I mean, what more could you do? And plus, at that point, Call of Duty and, and, and all these other shooters have kind of taken over Halo, you know? Halo was kind of the Halo was kind of for console shooters, console shooters specifically, because shooters overall most of the kings are on PC, but console shooter wise, that was the big one. Call of Duty they didn't be, they didn't come big to like the 360 gen, even though they were around a bit before then. And and yeah, yeah. But, and then I mean, this is my yeah. opinion of it. I think it was same Halo was the multiplayer when it started getting big people loved the multiplayer because the mechanics like jumping around and like almost floating because of the low gravity and stuff like that and call of duty what made that as a shooter really good and unique when it first came out was just the like the the hit registration i guess or the guns when you would shoot someone it felt like you were actually like timing it well and you know using a good strategy and it, it felt rewarding to play with what people would call a good style and you know there were styles that developed and like Halo was the same way it felt mechanically sound even though it was kind of different to me after playing <laughs> both because Call of Duty I played um uh, World War 2 I tried Advanced Warfare on the PS3 I do not recommend it I, it was a shit show. Check out the video. I get super pissed. <laughs> I don't like Advanced Warfare. Huh? I yeah. like Advanced. <laughs> I liked it if the PS3 would have let me freaking play it. It wasn't the game that was the problem. It was the freaking PS3. Like for the some console. reason. Yo, would you try it on Xbox? Oh fuck yeah, games? fuck yeah. I would try it on. I would try it on any other console. I mean, all honesty, I do want to get a Call of Duty game for the 360. I probably would have got Modern Warfare 3 if I didn't already have it on the PS3, but I might double dip. Yo, Fanny, you can you can get Modern Warfare 2 for free. Yeah, I, I did. You know it's, old, it's actually... It's 360 information. See, I lost my account name and stuff 
yeah, I, I got, I actually just downloaded, it will be a review on learning about video games in the future, that game, the remaster of it. Um, me and Corey also got, bought all the Black Ops games on the PS3 a while back, we just haven't reviewed them yet. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Call of Duty stuff, I'm, it's, it's an interesting series to explore. My only, between Call of Duty and Halo, though, I'm, I will say I kind of like Halo a little bit better. I feel like aesthetically it just uh, it pulls me in a bit more. It kind of has kind of a a time. It kind of just it has like this like it it feels kind of like um it's kind of earned the prestige of a Mario and a Sonic, you know. So anytime I plug it in or I see it or play it, I just get that feeling. And when I play it, I feel like I actually can play it confidently. With Call of Duty, Call of Duty's the kind of game that's easy to learn, hard to master. Halo, I feel like, feel like, kind of fits me more, fits me more naturally. I feel like games fit people more naturally than others. That's why people have games that they're stronger at than others to start off with. They both have their pros and cons, Halo and Call of Duty, but for me at this point, I, I kind of like Halo a bit more than Call of Duty. Although I will say, my favorite ever... It's either Halo or Doom. I'm not quite sure yet. Halo or Doom, huh? Yeah. One of those two. Um, Unreal Championship on the original Xbox, I played and reviewed that recently. I don't think it's out yet. It's not out yet, that review. But I love that a lot as well. I think that might be a game you actually might enjoy as well, Mike. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we talk quite a bit about shooters here. Um... So next for you, Mike, uh, your food reviews. So what do you got? What updates you have for that? Well, I did another food review video recently, and I've yet to post it. I'll probably post it uh, either tonight or tomorrow, and then when it goes public, uh, I'm not sure. But I had a couple fan suggestions a while back ago for the food review, and I also had a couple of uh, my own ideas and some other suggestions from a couple people, like uh, my brothers and stuff like that, and a few friends. So it just depends on what order I get to those. But I'm not going to forget the fan suggestions. I wrote them down, so at some point I will be able to review those food places, items, but it's, it just might be a little while longer than expected. Yeah. But I, I will not forget the fan suggestions because th those are really important to me. Yeah, yeah. So what about um? I will say this. I I haven't told you yet, but I I I have updated and publicly released all your Red Dead Redemption games that we that through after. So so they're all set. They're there for anyone curious. So do you have any updates on Red Dead though, Mike? Like for yourself, like in terms of like any future ambitions. Future ambitions for Red Dead, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean. Honestly, maybe not now, but I feel like I would go back and play it again and maybe uh, do some of the more uh, evil choices because I did more good choices in the beginning. Mm. Do more evil choices just to experiment and see what will happen in the game and uh, try some new things out and maybe complete the story more because I didn't even finish it. You know, I, pr I probably would. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's not a top priority right now. Yeah. Have you thought about revisiting the first one? Revisiting the first one? Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. That game is a really good game. Yeah, it's weird because... I really enjoyed it. When Red Dead 2 first came out, everyone was like, oh, this is like the greatest thing ever. But lately, people have been more negative about it. And the only thing I can gather why is because really it takes quite a while to get going as opposed to the first game where it just kind of throws you in and you just kind of figure everything out on your own. And I can see that because Red Dead is very similar to, it's just a western GTA to a small degree. I haven't played Red Dead myself, but that's an ambition of mine. If I do play it, I'll probably play like, I'll start with the first one. But actually there was a PS2 Red Dead Revolver. That was technically the first in the series, but I don't, but I don't hear people talk about or classify as much as with the other ones. So I don't know if there's any differences in that one compared to Redemptions, the Redemptions. 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like Red Dead Redemption and Two are the ones that kind of made it more popular. Yeah, in all honesty, in all honesty, it, it all knew about it. Yeah, and it's kept Rockstar relevant because if it wasn't for Red Dead, Rock, no one would. Rockstar would be have to cater to GTA Five, but they haven't released a new installment on that since like 2013, 2014, and they're not even releasing six for another year or year or two. So, like it, like Five is gonna be the one for PS Five. So PS Five, GTA for the PS Five has been on PS Three, PS Four, and PS Five gens. <laughs> So yeah, and they kind of they gave up on a lot of cool projects early on. Like like you you would think they would do a bully sequel at some point, you know? Or like they're the bully in Red Dead, like, like the Grand Theft Auto style, where they just they have a couple main characters, or and it's more of an emotional thing than it is like just an action thing. Well. With Bully, it's like, because they only did one game, but I remember Bully, it was kind of like GTA, only you were just a, a school bully, and you just like, and that was just kind of the gist of it, and it did really well, but, and it got re-released on like PS3 and PS4 as download titles, but it never got like a sequel, they even did like a, a Manhunt game, so they did two Manhunt games, and those never got ported to the next gen, but those ones were more controversial though, but... Who gives a fuck? It's Rockstar. Everything's controversial with Rockstar. It's kind of a broken drum at this point. Oh, Rockstar sucks now. Rockstar is controversial. No, Rockstar. Rockstar will never suck in my GTA, eyes. GTA, like of course. <laughs> no, I I love GTA. Grand Theft Auto, like there's a little like thirteen year old, fourteen year olds. Their mom bought them the game. Oh yeah. Like, shooting hookers and robbing them. And be pimping in the strip club. Sniping yeah. cops on the rooftops. <laughs> like, yeah, like, obviously when you have that much, like, freedom in a game, like, people are just gonna do whatever the fuck they want and kind of abuse it a little. And to be honest, I've actually thought about, like, maybe doing a, a review of all the cheats in the Grand Theft Auto games, reviewing the cheat codes, seeing which ones are cooler than yeah. others. Because they're known for their cheat codes, and I, I, I think that would be interesting and fun thing to explore. Because who doesn't love a video where people just fuck around in GTA? <laughs> who just, who doesn't, who hasn't at some point said, "Fuck the story, I'm gonna activate some cheats and I'm gonna shoot, shoot like fuckers up." I mean, I mean, I feel like that's pretty much how people normally play GTA anyway. I don't know how many people actually do the story mode anymore at this point. Like early on, they did. But I feel like since, like, 5, because 4's story mode was, like, the best they've ever done. But I feel like at 5, they're just like, you know what? People are like, yeah, fuck it. It's too open world. Yeah, can I be honest? Like, I played the first mission of the story, and I said, fuck it. I was like, yeah, this is boring. I don't want to do this. I usually try to do as much of the story as I can because I want to try to get to levels where stuff starts to like at least the basics unlock like a pistol and all that kind of stuff. But at some point, I just want to get the cheats out and I just want to do a bunch of crazy shit. I kind of wish GTA would have kind of separate the modes a little bit. Like I wish there was like like a like a story mode. And then, like, uh, an open world mode. Kind of like online, but, you know, just offline. You know, which just like, you know, you could do, like, you can create your own character and you can just do your own thing. You can do whatever the fuck you want or something like that. You kind of do that now, but it feels like, it feels like in order to get what you want, you have to do certain story objectives and missions to get stuff in. And not everyone wants to do that. So that's why people use the cheats. That's the only thing there, but yeah, um, but yeah, your next stuff, um, your Total War, like, regular Total War videos, do you have any plans in Total War in general? Uh, if I'm being honest, I probably won't be doing any more of those videos soon, it's just, yeah, I kinda just got tired of doing them, and it just wasn't that fun for me, I, and I'm honestly not a good player that I, I used to be when I played it more, and if I did do some Total War videos, it'd probably be just going over some of the mods, 
and just looking at the the new maps or do something that's not normal like you have like the for those of you who haven't watched them or whatever they have like the base campaign and then they have like a couple dlc like campaigns for medieval 2 total war and then they have they have Shogun 2 total war is really good i'm just not great at that one i'll be honest i'm not that great I played Rome Total War, that one's a fun game, but it's also just some broken mechanics that make it kind of less, less fun to replay, I guess. So if I did, I'd probably get some of the Medieval 2 mods, they have like a bigger world mod, and try some of the different factions and some of the, the stuff people don't normally use. It all, I, yeah. Oh, go ahead, Mike. Yeah. No, I, I was just going to say, I don't plan on doing any anytime soon. But if I did in the future, I would just do something, just something creative, just something new, and maybe yeah. something people don't use all the time. That makes sense. You know, and I, I, because on Steam there's Age of Empires, and I can't download those games because I have a Mac. But, but you could, and I, I say this because they're a lot like Age of Empires. The only difference is they're not, they're not as like. Like, Age of Empire, like, um, Total War feels like a very straight up sim of, like, warfare. Um, the Age of Empires is a bit more, I wouldn't say arcadey, but more streamlined. It's not as, like, it's not as hard to pick up, and it's a bit freer with the managing. So that, so if you want, like, something that's like Total War, but you don't feel like investing a ton of time in, Age of Empires might be something you might like. Yeah, how much is Age of Empires on Steam? I might be able to get it. Last time I checked, it was like 25 bucks for the second edition. They have the first two editions available for sure. I don't know. If, I, I've only played the first two. Um, um, and they're special editions. They have a few little extras for it, like, you know, like, read it, like refined and that kind of stuff. Maybe a bonus thing or something. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, last time I checked, they were about 25 bucks. Like, no, when, that's not too bad. Yeah, they're pretty in depth. Like for, I would recommend getting the second one though to start things off. If you really get into it, then I then try out the first one. The first one, from what I remember, is a little rougher, but it's still a bit fun. Second one, read the like I refines it and adds a lot to it. So if you're only picking two, I would start with the second one. Okay. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll yeah. keep it in mind. I might not be able to get to it right away. Yeah, there's no rush. I know once I ever get a new laptop again, it'll probably be a regular, and I'm going to play the shit out of Age of Empires. <laughs> I miss that game so much. Um, but yeah, uh, so so do you have any plans on, like, your... I know it's been a while since we talked about it. I know you've kind of updated before, but do you have any plans on complete, completing your Norway campaign in Total War? I could, but... Uh, it just depends. I'm not... I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Yeah, it's just a thought, because cause I know you said you wanted to take a break because you kind of were losing steam on it, so I was just checking to see if, if that was in the cards yet. Yeah, yeah it, it might be, I'm just not sure. Hmm. Well, how about your uh, hot seats? Do you have any plans in hot seats? Honestly, no. Like, I, I took a break from the hot seats. Like I said, I wasn't doing very good. Everyone knew if they watched the videos, I was just struggling. But, you know, it, it's not too big a deal. I might be able to, like, do them again in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how about, um, uh, Soul Calibur? You have any plans with Soul, your Soul Calibur series? Oh, yeah. No, I, I do plan on doing more Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur is a fun game. The arcade style, you can kind of just pick it up and just play a couple games and it isn't really that weird or too complicated to understand. Yeah, I actually, I actually reviewed the the Soul Calibur Four review was just released recently, but I I I did do six and it will be released I believe Monday this Monday, um, and and yeah I I enjoy Soul Calibur a lot so far I've played um. I started with the second one with Corey, and then we played the Dreamcast, the first version, 
with her, and I played four and six on my own. So, I I do love them a lot. I what I love about them is that I feel like it's one that a lot of it, like you said it's pick up and play, but there is depth to it as well. There's a lot of depth as well, and yeah, it's a it's just a really well put together series and consistent as well. Yeah, Soul Calibur, when I started playing it, which was on the Nintendo GameCube, I think it was Soul Calibur 2. Oh, yeah. With the it was just a lot to offer, and the characters were really cool. The, uh, the combat was, like, not too difficult to, like, learn, but it also had, like, the good combos and advanced techniques that you could use. They it was all just overall easy to play, fun to play, and the story mode was still good, they had a good backstory and all that other garbage people want. <laughs> Hell well. But yeah, I do see it's a strong possibility that I'll play some more Soul Calibur in the future, do some more videos, and maybe play with some friends or something, maybe you and I could play it. Yeah, Video Gaming League, we could do a match or two in Soul Calibur 4. I mean, or so any Soul Calibur game, just... I wish it, it was quite a cross-platform. We would play the shit out of it if it was cross-platform. Hey, you had Soul Calibur 4, right? Oh, yeah, I have on PS3. All my ones are PlayStation, except for the Dreamcast 1. Although, I could get... I, I could do the, the 360 version, mainly because... And the only reason why is because the different consoles have exclusive character. So, that kind of gives... In my opinion, that gives enough warrant review. Especially the GameCube version of 2. Because the, the GameCube version of 2 has Zelda, which is probably the best guest character ever for a Soul Calibur game. You mean Link, right? Yeah, fucking Link. You I wasn't said saying... Zelda. Yeah, you fucking said Zelda. Zelda. Yeah, Zelda with Link a fucking Zelda. sword. <laughs> oh, fuck. I still have yet to play a... You were I have still yet to play a Zelda game. So yeah, that's that's, that's probably why. Yeah, we we need to fix that all. Find a game we can play. I keep holding They're out. Really good. I I keep holding out to get like the first one on NES at least because I don't know. I'm just kind of curious on that one. But well, the problem is that all the Zelda games are pricey as fuck anyway. So you're either one you're getting you're replaying a lot of money for. It's kind of weird they could have so many Zelda games and they all be expensive as fuck. You think there'll be some good ones that'd be kind of be cheap at least. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's just because, you know, those other games are just so popular. They're really good games. Yeah. The story, all that bullshit. Yeah. But, yeah, it surprises me, honestly. I didn't even... You might have told me that before, but I didn't know you never played those Zelda games. Yeah, not yet. I The only reason why I haven't really is just because... I know the first one, like, and it has its classic go through. It's like 20-some dollars, which is reasonable for a game like that in my opinion but the only thing with cartridge games like that is that I don't know how much I'll invest in them so it's kind of tricky to want to invest in a cartridge game like that. I do remember Zelda I think that it does have a password system though so there is some redeemableness there as long as it has a battery save or a password system it's cool but if it's like if yeah it's one of those games you have to complete in one sitting that it's it's hard to convince me to pick it up you know but um, but yeah. Do you have any plans in your Kingdom Hearts series? For Kingdom Hearts, yeah, I probably will get to it soon. Like I said, I just I have been doing a lot of stuff, and yeah, I'm not even knowing what. How do I put this? Like I just have been just improving for a lot of the the live streams and videos, just not even worrying about some of these new games that I've been forgetting about stuff. Yeah, I will get to it soon. It's just a matter of when. Yeah. Um, uh, last... I think, yeah. I think it'd be a good game to do on a live stream, because you can just kind of chill while you're playing. Yeah. Take it too seriously. And it's not a game you should take really seriously anyway. It's more of just a chill game. Yeah. So, um, the last one here you have is the, your Assassin's Creed series. Yeah, any Assassin's plans? Creed, yeah, I do have some Assassin's Creed games. I haven't made any videos yet, but I will be doing them pretty soon. They're really fun games, and you can just kind of mess around if you don't want to do the, the whole story. You can just kind of get to a certain point and just experiment, mess around, run around the places. I will get to those pretty soon. 
Okay. Alright, that's all you have. So, do you have any other shows that you plan on kicking off or anything in the future? Any other stuff I plan on in the future? I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure. I had to think about it. Yeah, I get ya. We talked about the food review. We talked uh, about everything I put in there. Yeah. Every. Uh, all the. Like, yeah. Could do the music review videos and oh, some yeah. movie reviews I could contribute. I almost forgot. I we'll we'll get to my music reviews in a little bit. Um. So we're gonna start with my stuff here. We're gonna start off with my vlog series on the Incredible Hulk. That is going strong. I'm trying to... I'm kind of stuck in a rut of doing, like, next week episodes, like, pre previous week, and I'm trying to get a little bit ahead so I can do some extra stuff, like a music review and, uh, and maybe the 100th episode of Fen Recommends, which we'll get to in a little bit. But yeah, that's going strong. Nothing... We're aiming too much there. Um... Learning about is going on strong too. I'm kind of feel like I'm finally kind of keep catching up with it. Um, I'm going to have a lot of spare time coming up, so you'll pro I'll probably be able to chuck through that list, especially the PS4 downloads, which I have quite a few of. So, got more of those. Might see a small break once I fully catch up, but that's going to take a bit for that. Um, sports game reviews. Um, so I have. <laughs> I have a few more of those coming up, and then I'm going to take a break from it. I, I've already have some games gathered, and some I'm going to download, so there's going to be a, another run there, but you're going to start to see more experimental videos in that area, just because there's only so many sports games to review, especially ones that aren't big enough to have their own series. There's only so many of them. Um, what were you going to say, Mike? Yeah, I was going to say, I had also some suggestions for two-year series for the movie review and the music review. I had two suggestions. Yeah, go ahead. So, one movie I thought was really good was 1917. I thought you should do a review on that movie. Actually, I did a movie theory review on that, actually. You already did? Yeah. Like a Dude, I suck, bro. <laughs> like, bring it in, man. The virtual hug right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hungry, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in theaters with Corey. It was the last movie we saw before this whole shitstorm came. Yeah. Yeah, it was an awesome movie. Um What was the other one? Yeah, the other one is for music review. I, I think you should do Trapped is first album or their second album. Ooh, Trapped. Too. That's a really good that's, collection of stuff, not just one or two songs, in my opinion. That's a good suggestion because I actually love Trap. Like the first one of my first, like one of my first video game experiences, MX Unleashed. I borrowed it from my friend Austin when we were young for the PS2. I did review on it a while ago. The one th and that was my first experience with like at the time current rock, from what I remember. And one of the songs was uh one of the trap songs, the big one. I think it was Headstrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, that would be a good thing to take a look at, an album there. I just gotta, I just gotta really, I know it's on YouTube, I prefer to do hard, I prefer to do CD, but considering Walmart and Myers had decided that the CD should be obsolete and tossed in with the A-tracks in exchange from vinyl, you might see more flexibility in that area. But yeah, um but yeah, that's definitely stuff to take a look at for look at in the future. Um next is the upcoming NHL series reviews. And for that one, that's gonna come out in September. I'm gonna be reviewing all the NHL games from EA, starting with the Genesis games, then going to PS one, PS two, and PS three. And they're gonna be so far, I, I plan on them being in a row so far. So you're going to have, like, a lot of months of just NHL reviews. NHL reviews, okay. Yeah, it's... So it, I've done, done all the Genesis ones already. I'm in the middle of the PS1 ones. I'm kind of doing them as I go just because I'm juggling other shows. But, but yeah, so far, it's pre so far it's pretty cool, pretty... 
pretty nice to see the progression so far. I am curious once I get to the the PS3 era how that's going to turn out. Um, uh, next is uh, my NFL 2K2 franchise mode review. Um, that's get that's going good. Um, a little s making videos try has been a little slower than anticipated, but mainly because I was just juggling a lot of stuff, and I also play games kind of based on mood a little bit when I'm doing a lot of shows and 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 plus based on the pattern of where I'm airing that show, it kind of has a bit more leeway for episode recording, so I kind of. But I am going to be catching up with that in the future. Um, next is the Campy Cast. That is a new one that meaning that, that the first where it's basically it's basically like Sports BS only it's everyone at the Campy Company it's just general topics. Corey term, coined the phrase word vomit which kind of is. It's just chill just talking, chatting. Um, Mike, you weren't in that one, but Mike can certainly be in future episodes of that, because it's just with anyone in the Campy Company. It, it's not really any specific individuals within us. It was just me and Corey at the time. That's why. That's just why. Um, we, we're doing those as we go. Um, I do want to stream the next, try streaming the second one. Um, we did get a slight internet update at the house, slight, so... I'm gonna try some streams, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna um we're we're gonna try to stream the second one and and try to have more interactivity with the with the with the chat and with the viewers to kind of get an idea of what to talk about. Cause really, we might have a couple loose topics, but it's mostly just like whatever comes to mind, whenever, whatever kind of thing. Yeah, probably just kind of. Just casual, just talk about whatever you like. Yeah, yeah, cause I, cause I feel like we don't talk enough about general topics, and I kind of wanted a show where everyone can just hang out, like, like, because there will probably be future members of the channel in the future once things become more sociable. So I kind of want something where people can just kind of drop in and just chat loosely, and and it doesn't have to be anything with a lot of structure. Yeah, something just kind of. People can pick up and casual. Yeah, and plus be able to chat with the stream. It's a bit different than a channel update because it's not like I mean we could talk about certain things, but it's mostly just about things in general. Um, but yeah, so NHL faceoff reviews that has been completed. Um, that has been dealt with, <laughs> and yeah, it is a it's a it's there's a lot to say about it. I've already said in those videos. Um. But yeah, that that's there's nothing more to do there. I reviewed all the games there. Um, NHL 2K reviews. Now that one has potential. Um, I've been slowly gathering the NHL 2K games. Um, I do. It's gonna be a bit before you see a full blown review. Uh, long ones. I did do the Dreamcast ports, and I have done 2K5 and sports game reviews, but I haven't done. I haven't gathered all the PS2 or PS3 versions of that yet. So and probably we won the we ones too mainly because the last 2K game was a Wii exclusive. So you'll probably see the Wii versions of that as well. So but yeah, it's going to be a bit for that one though. All right, so there are um so on the channel you'll notice some playlists from pe not from creators of a different of a different channel. So um to help to help them out, I've created a couple playlists, Retro Sports Gamer channel, I created a couple playlists and added all like their videos that kind of were, weren't in playlists, that were kind of just loose solo stuff, and just kind of gave them a home, so it makes it easier for people to find them, I kind of just did it just to, just, just to give, just for, just on a whim, just to kind of give it something, so that's why they're there, um, so the next thing is, Finn and Mike play sports games, so we just, recently did MVP Baseball 5 long distance style and for the most part it seems like a lot of people I reviewed it and seem to express a likeness to it so we'll definitely do another one pretty soon in fact I think the next video plan I'm doing together is a fan of Mike play sports game video I believe we're gonna do I know Mike when you I gave you some suggestions and the three you pick were base MVP 
Backbreaker and NFL 2K. And I think we'll probably... We're either going to do Backbreaker and NFL 2K next. I don't think we're doing a lot of them like this because I want to reserve some for multiplayer. It just depends on how we're feeling. Oh, it's not Madden. Yeah, Madden... I, I was, just need a break from Madden. That's all it is. I, yeah. just, I can't be doing Madden right now. Maybe, maybe in the future. Yeah, I will say... Right. I will say this, if we ever, ever do another Madden review series, we will probably do the Genesis ones, mainly because it's the only gen we haven't completely covered yet. All the other gens we've covered, if we do any other system review like GameCube or N64 or whatever, we're just going to be regurgitating the games that have already been covered for the most part, which is fine, because they have their own twink twinkets and, and quirks in those systems, but... But those are going to be kind of lesser priority over the ones over the gen that hasn't been covered yet. So, so it's it would be a bit for that one. We're kind of focused on the other ones because Madden's just kind of been a little pissy. <laughs> yeah, Madden has been annoying me lately. I don't know if it's annoyed you ever. Oh yeah. It's annoying in general. I feel like, and there's much better games out there. Oh yeah, especially. I play it. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, let's play one of the gems we haven't covered so there's some new content, some new players, some new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Make sure it's actually worth doing. Yeah. And all the same old and not worth anything. On a quick side note, um, sports, uh, you might find this of intrigue, Mike, um, Soft Drink uh, TV, he did, a, he did a fall of EA Sports video and he all of EA Sports, yeah. Fall or EA or whatever. And I just watched it today. It's really good. Um, he gets a lot of interviews with a lot of YouTubers, and he gets an interview with um, the original founder of EA Sports. Oh, nice. Um, he's, of course, he's not, he hasn't been with the company since the early 90s. But, but he created Electro EA, and he they helped... found out why he ruined the game, huh? Oh no, he didn't ruin it at all. In fact, he, because he left around, I think, early 90s, 93, 94. Yeah, all the shit that's been going on now, that's because of the people in charge now. Or, or at least were in charge during the 360 PS3 era. Um, but yeah, it's basically, basically, he says that it's because the because he was the one that that like helped create their first Madden game. And the first Madden game was revolutionary because it was the first football game to have eleven on eleven. Hmm. And and that was actually that actually was persisted actually by John Madden because when he first showed him was a tradition more of a you know a football game with not eleven on eleven. And he said like like it was stock, honestly like there's like couple of versions where they do it. But, yeah, and, know, 11 on 11 is really good. Yeah, and he said that if you want, if you want, if I'm going to put my name on it, I want, you know, it be, it be as realistic as possible, which means 11 on 11. And that's what they did, because they wanted to do it, and they made the first one, and the first game was a pretty big hit at the time, and then other games followed, and yeah, it was, I highly recommend you watching the video, just seeing what EA was at, the idea and seeing where it's now, it's really enlightening to see like the cautionary tale of a company gone too negative in the other direction <laughs> from when it started. But yeah, um, so the next series is Sports BS. Um, I think the next thing we'll talk about in that is championships or what we think of it so far at least. Um, that might come in a little bit. I think we'll wait a little bit longer till something more it gets more defined. But um but yeah, that we'll definitely do another one of those pretty soon. Now that sports is back up and there's more to talk about in that area. Okay, uh NFL two K reviews, um there's not much to say here. I will say the only thing I think I will that is left to do there is is covering the Xbox versions of the 2K games. I am intrigued in doing that. Um, mainly because there might be some interesting things in those games that aren't in PS2, especially 2K5. So 
that's something to keep in mind there. Um, so the NBA 2K5 Associate Mode Review, oh my god, um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll go back to that in the future, um, if I do, I don't think it'll be the same, it, it'll be a, it'll be a, a different thing, it'll be a different team, it'll be kind of a, a, a new team thing, it wouldn't be a continuation mainly because of the glitch, the horrible glitch discovery during it, that kind of almost ruined the thing in there so yeah I that one probably not alright so Fen recommends now now the hundredth episode I'm I'm not quite sure what we're doing for that quite yet I do plan on releasing it um, before the vlog series ends on the Incredible Hulk either in September or October or maybe sooner probably not sooner um, but yeah I do plan on doing that once I get extra time. It will be a massive one. It won't be just be a one movie thing. It's either going to be a franchise or or a review of a TV show. Kind of like when I did Dark, Tales from the Dark Side and Tales from the Crypt. The only reason I really haven't done those is mainly because of the vlog series. Because I did those two before I started the vlog series. But, but I wouldn't say I would never do them again. Mainly because there's some shows that are just too big to cover really or I can't cover right away so so keep an eye out for that um so Corey stuff we're just gonna cover Corey stuff here from what she said um she does have some plans for a lot of different stuff it's just she just is looking she's still fresh in YouTube so she's still kind of in a she hasn't done any complete solo work yet um, she did Corey's Corner. She did a complete playthrough of the Deadpool game on PS3, which was very good. Um, she started something in Hand of Faith, but she, but that might be kind of she, but she that might be put more of in a kind of a single review category until she decides to continue doing that. So she's kind of playing around with ideas right now. Uh, Fight Night reviews. Um, I don't know when I'll go back to that. Um, I do think I do plan on taking a look at Knockout Kings, which is done by EA, but kind of in a different category. It'll be its own series. Um, but yeah, Fight Night I could take a look at like the Xbox versions of the games, but unless they have something exclusive in that area, I'm not really gonna get too far into that until unless I happen to stumble upon some cheap cheap like copies at a store or something. Ooh, college the 2K college hoops games. Um, basically, I will say um, I will say I do want to. The next priority will be the PS3 installments, 2K7 and 2K8. Um, they are on a pricey end, so it's going to take some time for me to get them. Um, I don't plan on reviewing the Xbox versions of those games right away. Um, un at least until until I cover the PS3 versions, mainly because they'd just be regurgitating stuff. I mean, there are some extra little touches in those games, but but I I'm gonna stick with with the uh, the PS3 versions as next until then. Um, one shot videos. That's just a one shot playlist stuff. I am planning on moving some videos in there, specifically the talk show playlist, because I don't really plan on doing anything more there. And Movie Man's Guide to Movies, I'm going to consider that a dead series at this point. Uh, okay. And I, there's a copyright, I did find out why they got cop, one video got the copyright strike. It was for a scene that, really I'm surprised they got strike on, and taking it out would kind of ruin the review. So I think what I might do is I think I might download them, save them to my laptop, make the edit, and then at some point in the future, if I'm feeling ballsy re-upload them with the edit with the, it not with it there so we'll see on that I'm not too obsessed with it right now um the Madden 2004 training videos um there's still potential there for exploration um I do then I think the next thing I'll take a look at is free agency then the next big big thing will probably be playbooks but that's going to be a while before I tag into that, at least until I see a demand for it. They got a lot of views, and I'm happy to see that. I might do more games of that reviews, a review of that in the future. I just need to find 
definitives in those other sports. Because for me, Mano 4 is kind of a definitive sports game. But yeah. Um, next is the Hits 03 franchise mode review. I do plan on continuing that this fall and finishing up in the fall. I kind of did half of it. It's kind of an unorthodox franchise mode, mode so it took a little bit of finessing. Um, but yeah, I do plan on finishing that up this fall. And then the next one after that, I know I've getting a lot of reviews for a 2K sports game, so probably see those, but I do want to squeeze in other stuff, like maybe an EA one, but definitely one for maybe another franchise, like 989 Sports or one of the Xbox Sports exclusives, but we'll have to see you there. Um, movie theater reviews, um, until movie theaters open up, I see a movie in the theaters, it's gonna stick at 1917 as the last one. Um, I have thought about doing something experimental on that playlist, but it's a very specific playlist that I kind of feel like there's enough there to explore without adding more to it, unless until they actually add movies in theaters, which technically they're supposed to this year yet, so who knows, we'll probably sneak in a few more episodes before the end of the year. NBA 2K reviews, um, let's see, um, the next one is the PS3 stuff. Um, that I'm gathering. I still have a few to get, but I'm getting close. Um, after I do PS3 ones, um, probably like, uh, probably, probably Xbox. The Xbox versions probably would be next, but in all honesty, I'm not hop, I'm not gonna hop to it right away, just mainly because, just mainly because there's not much there yet for them to explore. I will say this on a quick side note, I did... I, NBA 2K20 was a free download. I did play it. I didn't do... I don't do video reviews of PS4 sports games if I already kickstarted a series just because it kind of... kind of... it kind of begs a lot. Because... it... because once... I, for me, once I start a series review, I... it's... I'm fully committed to, like, each video I do other than requests, like, the first one just being in there. So... so, like... Like and plus I and plus I mainly don't because the PS4 is still ongoing. I don't want to have to commit myself to the next installment every year because when the installments come out, they cost a gajillion dollars, and yeah, it's just it's just it's just too much to manage for current gen. But yeah, the video gaming league, me and Corey, um.